Hello everybody! Paul Wyrostek, spiritual teacher, channeler of healing. Chilling. Um, in between sessions, and I want to share something. When I'm in sessions uh, with clients, um, these key components come up. And it just, it's like instantly, it's like, okay, share this with people right away. And I want people to understand. Check this out. And this is really deep. I'm just going to give you a quick version of this. That when something happens to us, or no, let me start this way. If you have 10 people standing in a line and they all experience the same exact thing. Say 10 years later, right? You ask all of them, what happened that day? And you'll probably get 10 different answers. And you'll get 10 different answers of how that happened to, what happened to them because of that. One of them could be, well, that was the greatest experience ever. And the person right next to them could be completely traumatized. This guy's working down the road. So... Think of that concept. Think of how 10 different people can experience the same thing, but they'll all be different results, right? Now, here's the, here's the flip side of that, okay? Let me go in. I don't know if this is too loud or not. So the flip, the flip side of that is this. Everything that has ever happened to you up until this point, you have the choice of how it is going to affect you. What? Okay. You are not defined by the events of everything that has happened to you. Okay. You are not the result of the trauma. The blame, the shame, the guilt. I want all of you to start to look at this today. Think of this. I want all of you to start to reevaluate everything in your life that you've been saying, oh well, I do I'm this I'm this way now. You know, it's a masculine energy, a very straightforward energy. Well, I'm this way because that happened to me, Paul. Did it? You know, how about really starting to look at it as or reevaluate it and say, did it really happen that way? Because in truth, you might have just perceived it to have happened that way. It might not be real. Okay. And the reason why I'm saying this now is because right now is when we're in this energy of the falling of the illusion. So if you go in and you reevaluate this now and say all the things that you've been saying, the excuses and everything holding you back, did that really happen that way? Or in some mythomane type of mind set that you had at that time? Think of the level of spirituality were you at? What was the level of ego that you were at, right? Adolescence, what was going on? So it's time to look back and really reevaluate and think, did that happen? Did it happen like that? No, okay, fine. Because of belief systems, we can say, you know, if somebody believes that something really happened to them, then it, then it is, it is happening to them. Okay, but I just want all of you to start to look, look back and think, you know, did that happen? If it did or whatever it is, you have a choice to change now how that affects you or if it even affects you at all. Hmm?
So much to teach. So much to teach. I've been getting massive, massive um, downloads and information from angels and masters. Uh, and I'm about to be, to, you know, set, giving this to all of you and letting you all know what's, what's going on. Um, very, 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 very powerful time we're all going through right now. So I want everybody to just listen to what I just said and really reevaluate everything that's going on and say, did that happen the way I remembered it to? And am I going to still blame that? Right? Because the guy next to me could have been receiving it as an amazing experience. Why can't I look at the amazing experience of it? Okay? Perceptions are melting. We cognize things. We solidify things in our brain. Especially when we're younger. When we're create our ego self we're creating. We're like, don't do that because that's bad. Okay, here's, here's a, a wall. All right, now that, that happened to me, so I'll never do that again. Well, there's a wall. And next thing you know, you're running through this friggin' obstacle course and, and a maze that's a dead end. All right. Tomorrow's August 11th. I'm beginning the group healing tomorrow. Anybody that wants to sign up, today's the day. So just uh, go to my Facebook page. You'll see the advertisement. You'll see the link. Click on the link to pay and then you sign up and then it's, you're instantly hooked up. So what else? That's about it for now. I don't think I'm going live tonight. Um... I'm going to go with the flow, but I don't feel I'm going to because I want, I'm getting ready for the group meditation starting tomorrow. So I have uh, some more clients today, and then I'm pretty much going to start later on tonight. So um, I love all of you. I love all of you, and I know you can do it. I wouldn't be doing these things if I didn't believe in all of you, okay? And I love, like angels, I love angels work with light workers to help unravel the issues that the earth has, okay? So I have this angelic, these angels and masters, the energy of source energy works through me. And since we are cre co-creators, we are gods creating, I am enjoying being connected and working with these angels and masters and billions of beings of light that work with me to bring you this truth, okay? So I enjoy watching uh Watching the the veil of junk drop and the people expand and grow, I believe in you, and that's pretty much the reason why I'm on this earth is to bring this knowledge to all of you. So I believe in you. God loves you, whether you want to believe it or not. Okay, let it be done, and so it is done.